hey, God bless you. It's such a joy for me to be with you today. Thank you so much for coming in. Just want to declare God has amazing things in store for you as well. Today, I'm starting a new series on how to develop good relationships with people. You know, whether you like it or not, realize it or not, you're always going to have to deal with people. You're not called to be an island. You're not called to just not mingle with anybody. You have to mingle with people, whether it's in your school or in your home or in your workplace or uh, in your church or community, anywhere and everywhere in your neighborhood, you need to deal with people. So um, you're not called to just you know be an island and separate yourself and be like a holier than thou attitude person, but you're called to show love to one another. You're called to walk in that kind of a uh, lifestyle that you're called to be. So today I'm going to talk on a very important aspect that I'm starting off in this series um, where I just want to start off by asking you this simple question. What do you see in this piece of paper? It looks so good, right? Most of you may say, John, I, I see it, this black dot, right? Most of you may say it's, it's a circle. Some of you may say it's a, it's a dot. It may say it's a piece. But you know, here's the important thing you need to understand. Most of you may say dot or circle, focusing on this dot that you see. But I would say it's a beautiful white piece of paper. See, here's the important aspect about relationships. You know, no relationship is perfect, all right? Nobody is perfect. Everybody is a human being. They have their own share of plus and minus. But the most important thing you need to understand is you can either focus on the positives or you can focus on the negatives. You can either focus on the full white paper or you can focus on the one dot that is there in it. Many people today are having issues in their relationships because they are focusing on the dot instead of looking at the entire white paper. Today, I'm encouraging you to start, stop looking at the dots. See, nobody is 100% perfect. You know, like the old Miley Cyrus song goes, nobody is perfect. I want you to understand nobody is perfect. Everybody has their own shares of positives, own share of negatives, and you need to start focusing on what's good. You may say, yes, John, they have so many negative points. Start looking at and start counting their good points. Start looking at what they're good at. Yes, they may not be good at the things that you expect them to be good at, but start thanking God for the fact that they're good at certain areas of your life that you may not even have thought that it's actually a good quality. See, when you start counting the good points about people, you will start getting point after point after point after point, man. See, nobody is a person who's like, you know, completely a wretch. You know, we tend to give up on people saying, you know, they're a wretch. You know, nothing, no good will come out of them. But I'm telling you, you start counting the good in people. You start focusing on the positives. You see how much things can change. You see how much your relationships will be much better than it was before. Because when you start focusing on the good, you start appreciating them for the good. You start praising them for the good. You start encouraging them in that area. Then your relationship will start getting healed. You will start developing good bonds. And eventually, you can start correcting them in some areas that need to be corrected as well. But if you start barking in the beginning and say, oh, you're not good enough, you're fit no, for nothing, you're having all these issues in you and I cannot be with you. You know, when you live like that, you're not going to heal your relationship. So today, my simple and important truth is this. You know, nobody is perfect. Now, the scripture puts it this way, that you are God's workmanship. Each and every person is a workmanship. That means they're work in progress. They're not perfect yet. They are being perfected to become who God has created them to be. But in that process, learn to understand them. Learn to accept them. Learn to love them in that process. Start focusing on what's good and start looking at those blessings and start counting them. And you see how your relationship will start getting better and blossom into something beautiful in your life as well. May God bless you. Amen. I hope you were blessed by this message. I encourage you to like it, comment on it, share it with your friends and loved ones, and do subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. And uh, until we meet again, may the Lord bless you and keep you, and may the Lord make His face to shine upon you. And before I leave, I want to just show, uh, share with you my book. Most of you would have known about it, but it's getting two years 
since the book came out and it's a beautiful book about identity value and purpose that you find in Christ Jesus I encourage each one of you to get it it's available on the internet it's available on Amazon Flipkart it's available on hard copy it's available on Kindle uh, don't miss getting it because I see countless testimonies of people telling me how they are never into books but they've been blessed by reading this and I believe that this book is going to bless you uh, uh, as well and if you want more details do feel free to contact me as well may God bless you Amen.